hello everyone my name is chirag patil and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we will implement conditional variational auto encoders right so in previous videos we had understand how variational auto encoder works and we had implemented it using tensorflow right so if you haven't seen the previous videos i would highly recommend go back and check that out because this video will be continuation of variational auto encoder video right so let's get started so first of all why we required conditional variational auto encoder right so if you recall the previous video this is the notebook which we had implemented in previous video right so let's say while we are generating a new image right let's say we are passing input as a 4 right and the output will be 9 at that time right this is the implementation of variational auto encoder right same our input was 9 and in output is 7 right so you can think it like we do not have any control or which digit or which output we need to generate right in our case we are using mnist data set so we do not have control like which digit we need to produce right although digits are accurate we can see this is 9 and 7 right so various auto encoder doing a good job to generate a digit but we do not have control that let's say we need to generate a 4 right but we are not explicitly providing this information to various auto encoder right so that's why conditional various auto encoder comes into the picture right so let's understand first basic thing how it will be created right so this will be the same as the variation auto encoder so i'm just giving the brief about a variation auto encoder so in that we are taking a input and there is the encoder in our case it is the convolutional neural network right and after the encoder we are calculating a mu and variance right using that mu and variance we are generating our latent dimension right by sampling using this mu and sigma square from normal distribution right and that latent dimension will be used by the decoder and decoder will generate output in our case it is the digit image right okay so we know that if we want to provide the information that which digit we need to generate we need to provide it in the input and decoder right so let's say here we are passing a label information to the encoder and encoder will generate a latent dimension or let's say mu and sigma square using this information as well right we will see in the implementation that how we will provide this information to the encoder and decoder but this is the basic concept that with input we also provide the label information in our case we have 10 digit right so we will provide a one hot encoding of any digit right which we want to generate same that one hot encoding we will provide to the decoder as well so decoder can understand which digit it has to generate right so let's start the implementation right so all all part would be the same like loss would be the same for the variational auto encoder or conditional variational auto encoder there are few changes in the architecture let's implement that right so i dim i am just editing that previous notebook right when we required the changes and i will explain what we are doing right so first of all i am importing few libraries right so this is the amnist data set right so as we know we need to provide the label information then we would require this uh, how many uh, classes or how many digit we want to generate right so let's say number of labels will be line thaw np dot unique white range it will be basically 10 right then right the sampling method would be the same and this is the encoder input shape we also need label shape right let's say label shape will be number of label right which will be a 10 it is labels right okay let's run 
okay so now we need to change the encoder part right so let's say this is the digit image right but we need to process first our label information so let's see how we can change so let's say x will be uh, first of all we will receive the uh, our label information right so it will be a input let's say input shape will be label shape right then let's provide the name as well that label info right let me provide the name as a y label okay so now i'm just writing the shape as well so you can understand what we are doing here right so it would be basically ten comma right which will be a one hot encoding of our 10 digits right so let's say now x can be so now we are applying a dense layer top of this one hot encoding of size let's say let me write it down and then i will explain what we are doing here right x let's say x is equal to fish shape image size image size this would be y label right okay so if you see here what we had done first we had taken a input as a one hot encoding right and then we are applying a dense layer image size cross image size right so what is our image size it is 28 cross 28 right so what we are doing we are converting our one hot encoder vector into 784 right so it would be 784 dimension right so as we know we have to perform convolutional operation right so we need to uh, convert this into a uh, form in which we can apply convolutional neural network right so what we are doing we will convert this 784 or reshaping it into 28 cross 28 right let's say 28 cross 28 right so now we will concatenate this x and this our input right so let me write the input above so both input will be at the top okay so now our x will be concatenate inputs and x right so now our input was image which is 28 cross 28 cross 1 right then we are concatenating here so now our input will be or this x will be 28 cross 28 cross 2 okay so here also we need to provide 1 right 28 cross 28 cross 1 then we are concatenating these two images and our input will be 28 cross 28 cross 2 right and now this input will be passed to the convolutional layers right so this is a few changes we would require in the encoder right so let's run this okay what is the issue as a list is not defined unknown tensor shape okay okay here we need to pass x right okay let's see now it's work or not okay yeah so we have forgot to provide the input to the reshape layer right okay so now in encoder we also need to change the inputs right now our encoder will take two inputs first is the our actual image 28 cross 28 and then y labels which will be sorry y label right y label which is the one hot encoder okay so now let's plot the model okay so here you can see 
we started with the 10 dimensional vector which is the one hot encoding representation of our digit and then we are converting into 784 then that 784 are reshaped into 28 cross 28 cross 1 and then we had concatenated that output of reshape and encoder out input and our image will become 28 cross 28 cross 2 and then rest part will be same right okay so now let's implement the decoder the so same as encoder we also need to provide a label information into a decoder right so we are providing a decoder information or label information to the decoder in simplest form let's say x will be concatenate latent inputs comma y label okay so we are just concatenating it here it would be two dimension right or vector of two so now we will concatenate this y label here our output will be 12 right because we are concatenating a vector of shape 10 and 2 then it will be 12 right then our everything will be same because after this we are applying the dense layer and a shape will be match right the rest code will be same here we need to change because decoder will also contain the input which is y label right let's say y label okay now let's run this okay so here there is a latent input right we need to pass this x sorry okay let's plot yes so here you can see in the plot as well we have our latent dimension shape 2 then we are up concatenating our 10 dimensional one hot encoder and our output would be 12 and then the 12 dimension will be provided to the dense layer and rest will be the same right okay so now let's build conditional variational auto encoder right so here if you see encoder will require two outputs two inputs right first is the inputs which is the image and second would be y level right same decoder will also require two inputs which is first is the encoder output which is the latent dimension and the second would be y label right and let's say this will be the output let's say intermediate output we can say although it is the actual output but we are implementing the model here right initializing that's why let's say name would be cva okay now let's see okay graph disconnected label info okay so i think we forget somewhere y label y label is here okay let's see the encoder dense input Okay, somewhere we forget to provide the information. Input shape is here. Label info. Label shape is correct. Y label is providing we are here. Okay. It is in the encoder, right? Let's say description created by label info, encoder model, following previous layer were accessed without the issue. Okay. This is the input we are providing it to dense. Inputs are here. This is the X. Y level. Let's read and I think everything is fine here. I'm not finding any issue here. Mm. Okay. 
Okay. Works by level. Okay. I think we are missing some information here. Let's see. For decoder also we had provided the while labels here. Right, output would be the same. While implementing VA, we are providing it. Okay, 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 okay. So here we need to provide two inputs, right? Our variational autoencoder needs two inputs, then our conditional variational autoencoder will also require two inputs, right? Y level. So we are not passing here Y level, that's why it was disconnected, right? Let's rerun. Okay, now it's working, right? So everything would be same. Let me change this part. It will be intermediate. So everything is same because just we change the variable name, that's why we are changing here, right? And now this become okay cva right let's run this okay so now while training we need to provide two input right it would be x train and let's say two categorical y train right so just we are converting our y into one hot encoding right now for here as well, we need to pass one hot encoder. Let's say two categorical Y test, right? Okay, then epochs and BHS are same. Let's run this. Okay. It will take few seconds, right? Okay, so now it's trained. Let's plot the output, right? Okay. Yeah, so this is our predicted output or generated output, and this was the input, right? And corresponding labels are provided to the decoder and encoder, right? So if you see, we are passing here four, and now we are receiving four, right? because we are incorporating the information to the encoder and decoder for the encoder like which digit it is compressing and for the decoder which digit it should generate right so you can see here for any number let's say for this 9 we are predicting 9 right for this 5 we are predicting 5 right so this is how conditional variational auto, auto encoder implement and it works right so if you have any doubts, you can write it in the comment section and if you like my video, please press the like button and subscribe my channel. It will motivate me. Okay. We will meet in the next video. Thank you.